Hello team, welcome back to V Project UK. With a vast range of detailing products out there, sometimes it can be difficult to know where to start. And one of those areas is matte and satin finishes. Now in this video, this matte and satin finish actually looks silver, but it is in fact quite a dark gray. Unfortunately, it looks quite silver. But what we're gonna be doing is seeing if any of the products we use adds any gloss to these finishes in this video. And we'll be seeing if you actually need matte or satin products. So, without wasting too much time, let's start the video. So going through the process, if you had a dirty panel, the first thing you would do is use a good traffic film remover like Citrus Power from Auto Finesse. However, our panel is clean, so we're going to skip this step. So the next stage would be to use a good snow foam like Built Hamber Auto Foam at 4% PIR. As I mentioned before, this panel is super clean, so we're going to skip this step as well. However, this does not add any gloss. If you're not sure about any of the products or techniques we use in this video, we've produced videos and demonstrated these products in most of our previous videos, so check them out. So the next stage is to use a really good quality shampoo, something like CarPro Reset, which does not contain any waxes or silicones or fillers, and will just give you a really good clean surface once you finish using it. So what we'll do now is we'll demonstrate the use of CarPro Reset on the left hand side. So we'll just wet the panel to get it going slightly and then if you've seen our two bucket wash video that'll explain why we're spraying the shampoo straight onto the wash mitt but we'll just give this section on the left a wash and we'll see what the results are. The great thing with CarPro Reset is that it's pH neutral but it cleans like an alkaline cleaner and it suds up quite nicely as well as you can see. Another great feature with CarPro Reset is that it rinses away so easily as you can see in this demonstration. So using one of our favourite drying towels, a CarPro Dehydrate, which is a twisted loop drying towel. Again, there's another video for this. We'll just dry this section off. I will say that today it was actually quite a cold day, so the water was actually smearing a bit. It wasn't drying very easily. So we've actually used the towel in various methods to try and dry the panel. And you'll see when we do a close up, the water's actually smeared a little bit as well. But unfortunately it was a cold day and there was nothing we could really do about that. So as you can see at the wash stage, the actual shampoo has not added any gloss at all to this section. You can't see the reflection of my glove in the panel whatsoever. So the next stage is a chemical decontamination stage and what we're going to do for the tar removal stage is use Gion tar. So what we'll do is we'll spray this onto that left hand side, leave it to dwell for two minutes and then wash it away. And what we'll actually do is wash it away after each chemical we use to see if there's been any difference in the gloss levels of that section once we've used those products. So washing it away will give us more accurate results to see if there's any difference. So two minutes have now elapsed and what we'll do is we'll rinse it away and wash it away to see if there's any difference in the gloss levels. Again, as you can see, Gion Tar rinses away super easily, leaving very little behind. Once again, we'll spray CarPro Reset onto our wash mitt and wash that section away. Now, as we're wiping the water away, hopefully you can see that there's no difference in the gloss levels whatsoever after using Gion Tar. 
On the right hand side where we've got the section we've not used any chemicals on at all, you can see that there's no increase in gloss levels and the reflection of my glove on the left hand side has not increased at all. The next stage of chemical decontamination is an iron remover and for that purpose we're going to use Carpro Iron X. Again, a really good effective product, one that does not leave anything behind when rinsed away. And what we're going to do is spray this on this section, leave it to dwell for two minutes and rinse it away. Carpro Iron X has now been dwelling for two minutes, so we'll wash it away and rinse it away and we'll see what the results are. Now, hopefully you can see that Carpro Iron X once again has not altered the matte effect of this section whatsoever. You can see that it hasn't added any more gloss to that section and you can see that my glove is not reflecting any more than it was before. Now usually once you finish your chemical decontamination you'd move into a mechanical decontamination stage which would start with clay barring. However on matte finishes and satin finishes you should never use clay bars because they can actually smoothen the surface and make them glossy. You'll also introduce scratches, which you would normally remove by using a polish with a machine polisher. But again, on matte and satin finishes, you should never use a machine polisher or polishes, as what these will do is smoothen out the surface and make them glossy, which is what we're trying to avoid. So no mechanical stages when it comes to matte and satin finishes. So now we've gone through the chemical decontamination stages, I'm just gonna bring you in for a close up to show you that there's no difference in the gloss levels with all the chemicals and techniques that we've used. Ignore the smearing, again, as I say, it's a cold day, so the water did smear a little bit. The panels are actually quite clean, but you can see the main purpose of this video is to show the difference in gloss levels, and there is none. You can see on the right hand side where we've used no chemicals at all, compared to the side which we have used chemicals, the gloss levels have not altered whatsoever. A detailer's top tip for you when it comes to matte and satin finishes is to avoid using anything that would contain a sealant or a wax or a glaze because what these will do is actually add a layer of gloss on top of your surface which is what you're trying to avoid. Now, to be honest, we have tested this, and to be honest, a lot of waxes and sealants don't leave too much of a glaze, but you are trying to keep that matte and satin finish, so avoid these as much as possible. Now we've gone through the chemical decontamination stage, we're gonna go through the paint protection stage. And what we're gonna use is a standard ceramic coat to see if this increases a gloss level whatsoever. For this purpose, we're gonna use Dr. Beasley 1201, a super easy ceramic coat to use because it has no cure time, which means we can apply it and wipe it off straight away in the top right hand corner and we'll see if there's any difference to the gloss levels. Now, just to give it a fair test, we'll also use a ceramic sealant, which is Polish Angel Cosmic Spritz. And what we'll do is we'll apply this in the bottom right hand corner of our test section. Again, it's super easy to use, will not have any cure time, which means you can apply it and just wipe it off straight away and we'll see what difference there are to the gloss levels. So as mentioned at the start of the video, we've actually produced videos demonstrating most of these products and techniques we've shown in this video. So if you've not seen them, check them out. But what we'll do now is we'll get Dr. Beasley and we'll put it onto the top left hand section and we'll see what the results are. So just using a pipette as usual, we'll get some product from the container. And what we're gonna do is just use a small cotton pad because it is quite a small area and we'll apply several drops onto the cotton pad. You don't need too much. That should be enough. Several drops is all you need. Don't make sure you don't oversaturate it. And Dr. Beasley is activated with water, so we'll just spray some distilled water in that section and apply it evenly to that part of the matte finish. 
We're going to go slowly, applying a nice, even coat, going in circular motions to begin with, and then we'll go in straight motions, cross hatch panel, just to make sure we get full and even coverage. So Dr. Beasley 1201 does not have any cure time, which means you don't need to leave it to dwell or wait for any rainbow effect before you wipe it off. So now applying no pressure, we'll just make sure that any carrier solution is wiped away. So even though Dr. Beasley 1201 has no cure time, like most standard ceramic coats, do not allow it to come into contact with water for at least 24 hours and make sure you give it about seven days to cure fully. But for our purpose, the gloss levels will show straight away. Now on the bottom right hand section, we're going to apply Polish Angel Cosmic Spritz again using a cotton pad. Again, just to make sure we get a nice, even, uniform coverage. Again, you don't need too much. If you over apply it, it can streak. So make sure you don't use too much product. Once again, we'll make sure we get a nice, even coverage. It has no cure time. And as you can see on application, it's changing the color of that section slightly. It's actually adding a bit more depth to the color. However, for the purpose of this test, what we're gonna be looking to see is if it adds any gloss. So once again, a nice cross hatch pattern to make sure we get even coverage. No cure time, so we can just wipe it off straight away. Again, no pressure. Just make sure you wipe away any excess product which is on there, leaving a nice, even layer of protection. And it actually wipes away really easily, leaving a really nice finish behind. And there you go, both products now applied. So what we did is we let the panel cure for about an hour just to make it a fair test. And what we're gonna be looking for now is to see if there's any increase in gloss between the top and the bottom once we remove the masking tape. We'll be looking to see if there's a line and we'll see if there's any difference in the gloss levels whatsoever between the two. So let's remove the tape and we'll see what we've got. What I'll also do is bring you in for a close up so we can see if there's any difference in the gloss levels close up. So as I bring you in closer, hopefully you can see there is a line there and you can see a dark line on the left hand side where we applied Dr. Beasley 1201. And that's a good sign because it shows that a nice thick layer of protection has been added. You can hopefully also see that the color has enhanced slightly. It's made it slightly darker where we've applied the 1201 and where we applied the Polish Angel Cosmic Spritz. But you can also hopefully see that there's actually no increase in gloss whatsoever. Ignore those marks there, which is just the actual PPF itself, vinyl wrap itself, but you can see there's a, there is a line, you can see the difference in saturation, but you can hopefully also see that there's no difference in gloss levels. Try and get the camera at different angles of light and you can see compared to the right hand side, the color is enhanced slightly, but it has not enhanced the gloss at all. Just trying to get you as many different angles as possible. But you can see that so far, the results are fantastic. So in conclusion, we can see that the use of matte and satin products on matte and satin finishes is not essential. Whether it be matte PPF, matte vinyl or matte paint, you can see that the gloss levels were not changed at all. The main thing is to make sure you use good quality products which do not leave any finishes behind. 
So when it comes to shampoo, make sure you use something like CarPro Reset, something which does not contain any waxes. The use of standalone tar removers like Gion Tar is absolutely fine. The use of standalone iron removers like CarPro Iron X is fine. And when you finish doing the chemical decontamination stages, make sure you do not use any mechanical stages like clay bars because this will damage the finish. Also, what you want to do is make sure you avoid any products which contains waxes or sealants or glazes because these can affect the gloss levels of the matte finish, which is what we're trying to avoid. So just avoid waxes or sealants or glazes. You also want to avoid any mechanical stages like machine polishing. Do not use any polishes because this again will damage the finish. And also the use of standard ceramic coats like Dr. Beasley 1201 is absolutely fine. And the use of high quality ceramic sealants like Polish Angel Cosmic Spritz is again absolutely fine and will give you great protection. So if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, make sure you press the bell icon to get alerts for future videos and make sure you check us out on Instagram. Please make sure you do subscribe because every subscribe really helps us and helps us on the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.